Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I just quickly want to run through the gear that I bring on an overnight trip and I have made videos of this before but things are really changing, nothing is static when it comes to gear and because I also got a new kayak as you can see here behind me then the space is also not an issue but something that I have to take uh, into consideration because if I'm out with my Glide, obviously space is not an issue. 600 pound workload you can do whatever you want but on the next couple of tricks, uh, trips that I'm going to do, I'm going to a place that I've been before overnight and I'm going to another place with about a thousand different islands. It's a fantastic place, I really hope and think, and the reviews tells me this, but more about that later. But I need to know before I go if all my gear can fit in the kayak. The gear you see right here is the gear that I wish I can bring if I have no issues with space. At this point, I don't know whether it actually fits in there. So obviously there are things that I can say, okay, well, that's too much luxury. I can take that out of the equation. But as it stands right now, this is what I would love to bring. And we will take a look at that a little bit later when I have gone through this. Just to give you an idea of what I bring, maybe that is inspiration for you. But then if we're looking here to my right, your left, then we have uh, a tent. Uh, it's a one-person tent that I have used on my last trip to uh, Renong, if you have seen that uh, video, otherwise check that out. Uh, it's a one-person tent and um, I might be swapping that for a two-person tent, I'm not 100% sure yet. Anyway, uh, then I've got an um, inflatable mattress, I've got a uh, down blanket, it's just a very light uh, down blanket, but it can be get pretty cold in nights. I've got a, my trusted LED lenser, uh, head torch. I got some pegs. I have got my trusted uh, uh, Helinox chair. And here I've got the dirt bag with some extra dirt clothes. It's basically just uh, shorts, t shirt, and some underwear so that when I've done paddling the whole day, I have some dry clothes to dress up in. Then I've got my little handy barbecue. You've seen the Boomy Bun trip, then you know Mark brought one of these along. I've got my own night, yet have to try it out. I know how it works, we tried his, but still. I've got my chair and a table, as it is, that's my table. I've got some toiletries, and then I got some um, poles here for my tarp, so I have a, a different kind of shaded setup if I want to. And then I have got my water purification. That's gravity filter. On the cooking side, this is the, the, the utensils, you could say, that I'll be bringing along. And usually these two things here, for instance, are not being used very often because I'd make uh, open fire. But I'll bring them just in case. Um, then I've got a container here. It's just for uh, vegetables and shaking things up. I've got my uh, plastic cup. Always drink out of plastic cups. And a small uh, titanium uh, cup here for a boiling small amount of water, if that's what I need. I got my plates, I got my uh, frying pan, and I got a new addition to my set here, which is the Coleman rice cooker, but I love this one here. I love it for everything I do, and I've been testing it very much throughout the last couple of months, just to see how it works, and it works fantastic. The reason why I've been investing in a, in a bigger pot, you can say, than just the small uh, compact ones, is first of all, I love to cook in proper equipment that does not stick on me. And secondly, well, most of the trips I'm... I'm I'm getting into now is actually for more than one person and it's nice to be able to uh, cook together or I can prepare food for other people and just myself. So this one here is a lot of bulk and should it end up being an issue I will take this one out of the equation because there's a lot of space I can save in that. Then I got myself a cutting board and I have got myself an insulated clean canteen. The clean canteen could also be spared out, but I'm contemplating bringing a little bit of extra cooking oil with me, and this is a brilliant place to store it when it's a little bit hard and you don't have to be too concerned about it. So that's why I bring this along, otherwise I wouldn't. Then on the utility side, you could say, I'm bringing quite a lot of fishing gear this time because I'm really hoping to go fishing. But I bring my uh, trusted uh, Recon Tanto uh, fixed blade, I got my folding saw and I got my branch cutter, and I got my uh, cold steel belly roach. This is basically the knife I'll be using when I'm cooking. And a little bit of uh, tea candles just to keep the mossies at bay. Then I have got a small net here that is just to capture shrimps, uh, crabs, or maybe some fish. Just do some passive fishing, passive hunting. Then I don't have to use the fishing rod to get some food. But that being said, I got two small fishing rods here as well. Uh, and they're just like, uh, I think, four to eight pound rods uh, and, and uh, line. So that's not really to go out 
catching any big uh, catfish or anything, but I just want to do some catch and cook if possible. And obviously then I've got uh, all sorts of different baits here, uh, spinners and uh, wobblers and uh, whatnot. And the same goes for this bag here, it's a bit of line, it's a bit of uh, plastic baits. Everything else you see on your uh, right, that is just camera gear, that is um, uh, monopods, that is uh, selfie sticks, it is bag up solar, it is my drone, and it is my camera gear, general battery, power banks, and, and all these things that comes along with that. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is what I will be bringing. Obviously, they will also be bringing food. But uh, while these here uh, will go in the bigger compartment in my kayak because they don't fit into my uh, food compartment, then these items here will go into my food compartment. And that's a fairly big place, so I'm not worried about space for food. I will be making a separate video about what I will be bringing there uh, because I'm really excited as far as cooking goes as well. But let's just see if this all fits in the kayak, shall we? Oh. <laughs> That was fantastic, actually. That was incredible. Um, I've been running some mental comparison between the Aventura 140, which I was really thrilled about in terms of luggage space, and this one here. And I constantly had the feeling that this one has less space uh, because it is 10 centimeters more narrow and it tapers in to the warts both ends, stern and bow, very quickly. So it's, it's very limited what you can put up there. but. I have got this boat now loaded with all my electronic gears up here in front, plus a little bit extra. All my camping gear is now wrapped up in here, including my chair and the uh, my tables and all that comes along with it. And I've still got plenty of room in here for my food. Um, in my cockpit right now, I've got sponge, I have got uh, safety rope, I have got safety bladder, I have got PFD, uh, and I got my first aid kit. So, but that's things that belongs into the cockpit. I'll be wearing my PFD, obviously, and I'll have my safety bladder and rope behind me. Um, so it doesn't need space in the, in the cockpits here. That is for my snacks and for my sunscreen. So the things that I need regularly, I can just grab out and get hold of that. And, and this is uh, my repair kits or stuff that I might need and might not need, but if I do need it, I need easy access to it. And that's, I'm obviously talking about the pouches in here. Oh. That is fantastic. That is really, 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 really fantastic. I love it. So upcoming trips, keep an eye out for it. Hit the bell the notification to make sure that you do not miss out on it. And uh, there will be two trips coming out. There will be a two nighters where I will basically just try to do a lot of catch and cooking. As you can see, the gear I brought along is actually meant to be that. And then I will have an epic trip coming up further down the road in next month. And I'm really looking forward to that one. Really looking forward. Where we're talking a lake as big as, a, as an open sea. We got like 15 kilometers of crossings. It's going to be fantastic. I'm sure of it. So until next time, stay curious.